You're listening to the Incomparables Total Party Kill podcast, in which a group of friends play Dungeons and Dragons on the internet for your amusement. This is episode number 378, the season premiere of the Dog and Pony Show season 6, episode 1, recorded September 2021, posted January 2023. Brunch with Strahd. Welcome back to Total Party Kill. It's me, Tony Sindelar, a dungeon master. Uh, today we are starting off a new season of your favorite dog and pony show, The Dog and Pony Show. Uh, continuing Curse of Strahd, mixing it up in Barovia. Our players you know and love are back. They have leveled up and they are ready to take on Ravenloft itself. Allow me to introduce our players. They will introduce their characters and then we will get into it. First up, the one, the only, the Dan Morin. Dan, how are you doing? I'm doing great, Tony. I'm here playing Cast and Onatar's Crucible, a Warforge cleric of the god Onatar. Dan, do you want to remind us about pronouns for you slash Onatar? I would love to. I'm so glad you asked. I use he, him pronouns, but Crucible uses they, them pronouns. Thank you so much. Next up, it's Erica Ensign. Hello. Super excited for a brand new season in which I'm still playing Brildish, the Dwarven Paladin. Her pronouns and mine are she, her. Uh, Brildish also has a celestial pony named Pony Sindelart, and his pronouns are he, him. Also joining us, Aline Sims. Hello, I play Emra Soliana, the Wood Elf Ranger, and her trusty pupper, Androdite. We all use she, her pronouns. Also, also joining us, Micah Sargent. Hello, I play Elevor Landman, the half-elf druid. Uh, he and I use he-him pronouns, and we have a pal, Samus, and she uses she-her pronouns. And last, but certainly not least, it is Jane Ritt, my good pal. Hello, I am Jane Ritt, playing Lena Dulina, the human rogue. We both use she-her pronouns. All right, what are we doing? Well, our adventures have been back and forth across Barovia. That's big Barovia. They started in little Barovia. They've done battle with all sorts of forces of darkness. Many of the minions, or at least, you know, fans of one Strahd von Zarvich, the not so great uh, lord and ruler of the, the land of Barovia. Uh, Barovia itself, uh, uh continues to be an inescapable land. Anyone who attempts to wander uh, out the edges of Barovia find themselves stumbling back from what, toward whence they came through the fog. Uh, but our adventures have been uh, hither and yon in the land, collecting allies, collecting information, and collecting some artifacts that may equip them for a final confrontation with one Strahd von Zarovich. And so, with those allies, that, that information, and a one glowing sword in hand, uh, they set off to Castle Ravenloft. Perhaps their last journey along the old Svalich Road. Uh, our, our adventures are now at level 9, uh, which, as far as I'm concerned, it's a good level to die at. Oh. Um, hmm. Yeah, just, just pro tip anyone. The most Klingon of levels? Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's a good number to die. Um, so yeah, so you're, you you you've uh, you've left uh, Velaki after uh, helping them out with uh, exposing a they weren't sure if it was a plague or what was going on, but a basically um, a collective noun of vampires operating out of the old uh, coffin maker's shop that was causing all kinds of uh, trouble for Velaki. Uh, probably not helping it was the uh, the local government's uh, insistence on. Uh, covering it up by burning down any of the houses that were attacked by vampire spawn. Uh, so you've left them in a better place, uh, both mentally and physically, by uh, uh, re-sanctifying the town of uh, Velaki uh, so that they are safe, hopefully, from attacks from the undead. In case you guys don't succeed in killing Strahd von Zarovich. Strahd von Zarovich, even if you die in your pathetic attempt to kill he who has ruled over Barovia for years and years, Velaki is technically better off than it was before you got here. We'll take mm, it. That's sure. the dog and pony show promise. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Technically better off. Technically better off. All right. Uh, I will just take you to the map of Barovia just to remind you about where you've been and where you're going. 
Uh, so you've got that there to, to kind of take in. So we, uh, uh, we'll, we're going to kind of jump ahead in time. Uh, I'm assuming we have left Valaki, uh, which is in central Barovia, and you followed the winding old Svalich road uh, toward Castle Ravenloft. If you remember way, way back when, uh, your first, uh, your kind of, uh, our adventure originated in Little Barovia, and uh, the turnoff for Castle Ravenloft, or... The Lucky was pretty early on in our adventure, in case you felt like, hey, I'm level 5, let's go check out this Castle Ravenloft thing. So, you follow the winding Old Solitude Road through the forest, the craggy mountain peaks, to, to the turnoff where it takes a sudden turn to the east, uh, and as you follow that path up uh, it's climbing up through the mountains uh, as Castle Ravenloft is built upon a large cliff overlooking Little Barovia. You turn a corner in the woods and come across the awesome presence. Castle Ravenloft towers before you. A little ways ahead of Castle Ravenloft, there are two twin turrets of stone, broken from years of exposure. Uh, beyond these guard towers, there's a precipice, 50 foot wide drop, a kind of a fog filled chasm uh, that just looking down, disappears into own un unknown depths. Uh, the drawbridge is conveniently lowered. It's old, shored up with wooden beams stretching across the chasm. Uh, between you and the archway, uh, you see beyond there's a, a courtyard. Uh, the chains of the drawbridge are kind of creaking in the wind. That's not creepy at all. Yeah, it, but but all gates do that here. Just hmm. standard standard gates. And so you decide to press on. <laughs> uh, you head across the the uh, the drawbridge. The uh, the rust eaten iron uh, chains uh, strain under your weight. Uh, you you cross through the uh, the immense high walls of Castle Ra Ra Ravenloft. Uh, each of the halls the walls look like they're a good uh, almost a hundred feet high, which. As castle nerds on the internet have told me extensively, it's much too high for any castle. <laughs> <laughs> castle nerds. Good old castle nerds. Uh, well, uh, using my historical knowledge feature, can I determine what these ruins were once used for? <laughs> did, did it still a castle? <laughs> Literally has never come in handy. Not, yeah. not when we're done with it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it'll be I, an X castle. I have loaded a map which should show you Ooh. a very big map. You should be far to the left. Uh, uh inside the courtyard of Castle Ravenloft. Uh, this is kind of a bird's eye view map. There is potentially things on this map that, you know, you can't see if you're not a bird, um, but, you know, you start in the main courtyard. Mm. Just to remind could be you... A bird. <laughs> mm, just to remind you and me of your adventuring party. Obviously, it is uh, the five of you, but you are accompanied by your many companions. A, a companion number of five. A number a, a reasonable dungeon master would not have permitted. Uh, of course... It is an auspicious day. <laughs> in, uh, this, of course, it wouldn't be the dog and pony show without Pony the Pony and Andrew Dyke the dog, Samus, uh, Sabretooth Tiger, an early addition, an important member of the uh, the group. Also present, Argal the Failed Assassin, <laughs> um, <laughs> and Vasilica, uh, the Flesh Golem, uh, the uh, somewhat silent uh, creation of the Abbot uh, from the Abbey far to the west of a. Uh, uh, Barovia, who I believe is, you know, I, I don't know under, I, I'm, not, I'm not sure if this is a charade or just a thing you're doing, but nominally a person you are escorting uh, to be <laughs> delivered uh, to one um, Count Strad von Zarovich. So you have passed over the, uh, the, the uh, drawbridge under a kind of rotting ancient portcullis um, and into the courtyard. You can see the huge tower, tower structure of Castle Ravenloft ahead of you. Uh, the courtyard itself is quite expansive, uh, though empty and desolate. It looks like it kind of heads in both directions. Uh, the castle is due east of you, I think. Yes, due east of you. Uh, you could potentially go north or south around the castle structure if you wanted, uh, but the, uh, the main doors of the castle are straight ahead of you, and in fact, look like they're just standing there kind of ajar. Uh, there's some torchlight kind of um, spilling out from, from inside uh, as it is very gloomy here. I'm going to say it's um, it's pretty, uh, it's mid-morning, uh, but of course it's Barovia and it's now uh, in Raven, you're in Ravenloft proper where things are always a little dark and, uh, you know, a torchlight comes in handy even at 1030 in the morning. 
We should point uh, out that point Vasil- order. Vasilka yeah. is wearing a wedding dress, and under mm-hmm. that wedding dress is handcrafted armor that Crucible created for her. So just a thing to remember if anything Man, should happen. It's, it's bad luck if Strahd sees her in the wedding dress, mm, which is right good. Decision, stay away. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so we should figure out if it was, did you make her like plate or did you make her like chain or I'm trying to figure out if she has disadvantage on stealth checks. I'm <laughs> sure it wasn't plate. Probably not, but I would think chainmail is not implausible. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That being said, having worn a wedding dress that is probably itself enough to give you a disadvantage on stealth yeah. checks. But Yeah, it's not really designed for... But she looks Very beautiful. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she looks does. beautiful. Um, I mean, she can hang with with me, who I think I have disadvantage on stealth checks anyway, <laughs> <laughs> or I'm just suck at them. Yeah. So, are we standing between two like guard towers? Yes. Are they are they towers or rooms? Uh, they are. I mean, they're little turrets. Uh, mm-hmm. you know, the entire all of Castle Ravenloft is surrounded by, as castle nerds would call it a curtain wall uh, that surrounds the entire structure, uh, which is 100 feet tall. There do seem to be turrets um, with kind of guard rooms to either side here of where you've come to the portcullis, uh, whereas perhaps a more occupied and functioning castle would likely have guards stationed right here uh, to greet you and perhaps inspect whatever goods you're bringing in and question you and whatnot. Uh, The courtyard of Castle Ravenloft is empty and bereft of... uh, of of any of any living souls, it's just the howling of the wind in the distance. Mm-hmm. I have I have two thoughts, everybody. One, we try and get up these sort of guard stations up onto the curtain walls and see, uh, take a survey of this whole exterior area, see if there are any entrances to the castle from from one of these. Uh, second idea: walk through the front door. He would never expect it. The front door is wide open. I always believe in being polite, and being polite means knocking at the front door. It does look like, um, you know, just, I I think, a a quick visual inspection. It does look like you could probably get up into the the walls and potentially access some of the upper floors of Castle Ravenloft uh, via the walls, if you were so inclined. Um, But uh, you could also just proceed through the open door ahead. Lena reaches mm. back into her memory to those things that we learned that we may want to access. Mm. Were any of them on the second floor? <laughs> I believe, uh, Erica, this is a place where <laughs> she Erica She wonders. Is. Yeah, Erica helps us out. Uh, let me pull up the, uh, the prophecies. Um, let me just pull up the prophecies. Hold on one second. <laughs> no, I don't yeah. even, I don't know if it was the prophecies. I think Are it was the- other Lena. Um, oh. Let's see. You found. Let's see. So way back when, when we played this game in September 2019, people, mm-hmm. um, you, uh, you one of the first things that happened upon arriving in uh, in 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 Barovia is you you met with Madame Eva and she gave you a reading of several uh, cards that told you of basically places where you could find um, the uh, information and artifacts related to. Uh, Stad von Zarevich and how you will defeat him. Um, it was mentioned that there was a um, the Tome of Strahd, a, a, a book of history or ancient knowledge that could be found in a place of supplication. Um, there was a mention of a, uh, a holy symbol that would be, I think it has been mentioned, might be found. It's seek a cast that once contained the finest wine, of which not a drop remains. And they suggested that there might be a wine cellar, not traditionally on the second floor of a castle. Um, you found the sun sword. You have located Strahd's enemy, that being Basilica. And then last but certainly not least, where could you find, Cas- uh, find Strahd if you needed to locate him when you are ready? Uh, obviously, he's in a lot of different places potentially around Castle Ravenloft. But perhaps uh, when you are ready to confront him, he dwells with the one whose blood sealed his doom, a brother of light snuffed out too soon also then, we know that they're uh the bones of the head of yeah. uh the dragon i've forgotten the mm-hmm. name of the dragon uh are also somewhere possibly like mounted in a trophy room and that is yeah. one of the things that broldish is going to be watching very very carefully Same. for because it's really important to her 
So yeah. I think you have a variety of upstairs and downstairs tasks ahead of yeah. you. So I believe, what's her name? Esmeralda? Uh, Esmeralda uh, Davenir is yes. also uh, basically is uh, I- indicated that she would be running her own uh, adventure. Yep. So and, and <laughs> to she, sneak into the castle she and still find you when she needs to. Yeah, um, she had told us that. Um, so the first floor has an entry hall, and I believe we were looking for a ruined chapel there. Lena mm-hmm. remembers. Um, then on the second floor was the court of the count, which yep. I don't know why we would want to go there, but, uh, but, uh, we know that's where it is. Um, and then on level three, it's the rooms of weeping. <laughs> <laughs> this doesn't get better. No, the, the names of the, the names of the areas of Castle Ravenloft. Level four would be spiky, spiky death things. Yeah. And <laughs> level five is catapult you into the sun. Mm. Level six is all the poxes. Mm. Uh, Did any of you watch Are You Being Served? Just as a tangent, because this sounds a lot like <laughs> the opening to Are You Being Served? <laughs> no. Okay. No, Someone's gonna that. understand that, and they're they're gonna be like, "Oh yeah, that's totally what it is." <laughs> Just saying. Um, and she had also told us that there were two huge towers that have a maddening internal logic, but could y- be used to access most floors of the castle. Are these the two towers that we see? Indeed. Uh, before us. Indeed. And in fact, hold on. I can get. I believe this is the part where I. Flounder around in roll 20. Uh, you've got an overhead view. Uh, this is a, I guess, a side view of Castle Whoa, that is tall. Whoa. Whoa. That looks so cool. Hold on. So, I'll blow that up for the live stream. Yeah. Wow. So imagine yourselves, you basically have just walked through that archway at the front. Or no, this is this is what you are seeing. This is inside the curtain wall. This is the uh, ahead of you is this structure. That is a very tall castle. Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. So two towers. One of them has a flat top. It's one not, of them has it's a. It's still not a mountain. Okay. <laughs> I, did anyone try and tell you that it was a mountain? Just saying. Um, just saying. Is it, people going to complain about how steep these towers are next? Yes. Uh, <laughs> so yes, uh, there are two huge spires to uh, Castle Ravenloft. Uh, one kind of got a flat uh, turret, and one's got more of your pointy. Um, I don't know fairy tale castle. Uh, I don't know what you call is that, that a thing. Parapet? I don't know what I, that is. I'm not a castle nerd. Yeah. It's not that castle nerdy. And you can see there is a a bridge uh, that connects them that's visible uh, to you. Uh, and one could imagine within the kind of main structures of Castle Ravenloft, of which there's several floors below the towers, uh, the, the there could be the you know. I will. I'll, I'm curious to see how completionist you uh, you all are once you actually go inside the castle. Um, <laughs> I'm they, guys, inside the castle. should we I mean, just go home? <laughs> they, I'm just saying. There's a lot no. of places you could go, mm-hmm. and you can try and kind of. Uh, you've got that side view map, and then you've also got the aerial view here uh, in front mm-hmm. of um, in your current. Well, view. I- I'll turn to everybody and say I'm happy to just go in the front door and just you know axes blazing, but I will. Defer to you, my friends, if you have Did a better idea. Did you want idea. your axe to be on fire? Because I can do that. Ooh. <laughs> maybe, maybe not until we run into something. Oh, very well. We will. <laughs> uh, it seems as though we still have some resources that we may be able to locate. Perhaps we should focus on those before we uh, make our way to Strahd himself. Yeah, that's, that's a good idea. Yeah. <laughs> do do we think we have a sense of where they're located in the overall scheme of things? I don't. Is there one of those maps that says I don't you have are GPS here? for this place? <laughs> Unlike, like we could find a throne um, and I could sit in it and see <laughs> see if it uh, gives me GPS. Um, well, you know, um, I think it, it's a big castle, um, but you could make some assumptions that uh, probably a trophy room is up, probably a wine cellar is down. Mm. Uh, uh, some of the other clues were slightly more cryptic slash um, hard to know where a chapel might be in a yeah, castle. Yeah, I was gonna say, can we? Mm-hmm. Uh, is there any chance we can make a? Uh, I don't know. A history so the check the, or the ruined check to... the ruined chapel we know is on the first floor. Maybe because... I already gave you that information and I forgot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, per- perhaps Esmeralda then... told us that one. Okay, perhaps cool. we should start there if it is on the first floor, yeah. and we are already on the first floor. Mm-hmm. Convenient. Convenient. 
All I'm right. scared to just walk in. Are we just going to walk in? <laughs> I'll go first if you want me Crucible to. Crucible has no okay. problem. All right. <laughs> I will okay. roll so, this strand we'll scroll up together. arm in, in arm. In, in, important question. <laughs> Are mm-hmm. we riding the horse into the castle? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Baller move, please. Come on. Yeah, I don't, or is this like a Mario's World situation where you leave Yoshi outside the castle, even no, though he'd be is... really useful inside the castle? Um, it's a pony. So mm, sorry. I feel like oh, he's going to okay. fit through most doors. So, okay, but what about Aragal? I will ride Argo in. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Piggyback. The goal for the next part of our adventure is to remember that Argo is here. <laughs> <laughs> or to let, make sure or Tony not. forgets because we've seen what happens when Argo is uh, in the neighborhood of uh, the devil himself before. Hey, guys. Um. Oh, should we leave Argo outside? No, I think we should bring him along. Yeah, Otherwise, he might okay. try to sneak up yeah. on us against his own will. All right, yeah. I am taking you to a new map because you appear to be entering through the main doors of Castle yep, Ravenloft. Yep. Uh, did this map load okay? Yep. Yep. Let me have to scroll to the left. How uh. insulted would Aragal be if we took his weapons for safekeeping between combats? <laughs> that seems do, like and do we care? I like... feel like I mean, yeah. Odd, a, I don't think you, there's there is a thing where I mean, Aragal was a you know, I mean, he failed. Uh, trying to kill you all. Stat wise, not a bad assassin. Had some bad roles, but no. he, remember when you were impressed by his stats five levels ago? Yeah, and he is not leveled up ago. at all since. Mm-hmm. So I think he's still stronger than us. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Individually, <laughs> unfortunately, low self esteem and uh, bad luck mm-hmm. uh, really will make him not the hero of the story. Um, okay, so. Lena, Lena's going to keep his his weapons on her, but does just ask, you know. A, nothing personal, but I just did. it seems inevitable that you'll regret this later, but <laughs> sure. <laughs> like he will get killed or you'll want him to kill something and he won't be able to. Um all right, everything's great. Um I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I have to digress again, but I just have to say that our icons look so good. They're yeah. so good. Roll 20. They really do. They're so good. They're so pretty. They're very I, people, I'm, if you can see I'm, I'm picturing all of us with hearts in our eyes. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> heart emoji, heart emoji. Yep, for real. Okay, we're ready. We're going to go in. We're, we're actually going to do this. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Do you like link up. arms? Well, it's, I mean, it's the, there's there's like 10 of you when you count all your, your pets. Say so. a how, how tall we're are these doors? To see Strud's von Zorich, the <laughs> <beautiful>. <laughs> how, how tall are these doors? Uh, well, they're, they're, they're big, massive, uh, oaken doors. Um, All right, then I'm, I'm riding say, pony through them. Yeah, you ride the pony through them. Mm-hmm. So um, let's just see here as I consult my map. So they really did this, huh? Um, <laughs> so the or- ornate outer doors of the castle hang open, uh, flanked by fluttering torches and iron sconces. Uh, 20 feet inside, there's this little, I think you could call it a vestibule. Uh, there's a second set of doors inside uh as you kind of head into this vestibule unit or as they call it chamber vaulted entry foyer uh there are four statues of dragons glaring down at you their eyes flickering in the torchlight i Um, roll to perceive traps yeah obviously (laughs) once we get in a little bit we're looking around that's the first order of business so this thing here ahead of you is the vestibule and then Oh, I should probably, sorry. Antechamber. Yeah, antechamber. There's a set of doors uh, that lead into the castle proper beyond that. 11. 27. Oh, 18. Whoa, and 27? It can't be what? 27. Though. Why did I not share? I'm, I'm so bad at this. Uh, I shared the, like, architectural diagram of the side view of, of I was view if there was art. Castle Ravenloft. Yeah, there's, I even have it saved over here in a tab marked, like, show to players. Here is the evocative Ooh. version of Castle Ravenloft. Oh, check out those ravens. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. See, there's the guard towers with the court, with the uh, mm. drawbridge. Now you're inside that, so good luck. Yeah. That was a mistake. Why did we do that? Yeah, because <laughs> we didn't know oh, how look. creepy it looked. <laughs> yeah, well, that's at nighttime. You're here at like ten thirty-five. It's it's different. Oh, <laughs> oh it's it, it looks time. like more welcoming, and yeah, no, <laughs> open but for brunch. Or... They're, they're, the ravens haven't woken up yet. Um, all right, so good te- evening. I, I Welcome. Have... Our specials are waffles today. <laughs> I believe oh I have described you as moving into the vestibule. Yes. None of you have moved your tokens into the vestibule yet. It's going to be. You said a... there were 
dragons or something. We were checking it out. Yeah, I, I squinted very hard at the dragons to see if there are any seams or uh, glowing eyes or, you know, pulsing <laughs> textures. Uh, did you roll something? Yes, I rolled a 27 on perception. <laughs> uh, those statues give you the heebie-jeebies. Um, yeah, there's, you know... You know, you know what I will tell you, uh, uh, Lena Delina, with a twenty-seven. Those statues, if they are statues, look identical to red dragon wormlings. Um, they appear completely stationary and inanimate, but like are somebody went to a lot. Of, um, they're very well painted. If they are, can I, like, you know, use my uh? dwarvish stone knowledge to roll a history check and see if I can figure out if they actually are stone? Sure. Alright. Means I believe I get to double my proficiency bonus. <laughs> it's more helpful when you roll higher. So, oh, yeah, my history is a minus one. That's great. So, uh, 12. They, they look real fancy for statues. Yeah, it's it's hard to say. It's possible they are part of some kind of security system. They are certainly not disguised. Um, I, just... I, I I I whisper to everybody. I don't know if those are statues. If they're not statues, I don't know <laughs> if that means we should quietly back away and find another entrance. I don't. Do, what, do any of us know anything about red dragon wormlings? Canonically, they give me the heebie-jeebies. <laughs> mm -hmm. Crucible says, well, we didn't come here to not enter the castle. I feel that we should press forward. Well, okay, let's let's just real quick take a t couple of steps back and how about one of us shoots <laughs> one of the dragons with an arrow and if the arrow breaks, that's cool. And if the arrow awakes a dragon, we at least have some maneuver in room. Maneuver and room. Makes sense. Everybody back up. Sure. Okay, I can do that. All right. Well, it was nice visiting Castle Ravenloft. <laughs> Goodbye. You, you you rapidly back up out of the vestibule of Castle Ravenloft. <laughs> These are probably the last statues we'll see. Yeah, <laughs> it's gonna this is gonna be one of those real slow campaigns. The, the first the first D and D game I ever played, ever. <laughs> Tony had us almost die because of some statues. <laughs> was that you? I forgot. That There's was also that me. one where kobolds threw trash at people. That was also me. <laughs> <laughs> Story checks out. I, I'm just, you know, I mean, I think I've talked about this before. I think statues are creepy and more people should be as afraid yeah. of them as I am. Yeah. So. Uh, Le Lena does too. So she, um, you know, uh, with her crossbow takes a takes a shot at one of the statues. The uh, crossbow bolt uh, ricochets off the red dragon wormling's statue? Question mark? And ricochets around the uh, vestibule uh, clattering uh, to the ground on the stones. The statue does not react in any way, shape, or form. I'm also... You hurt uh, my feelings. <laughs> this is a classic player thing where at the start of an adventure, as it were, and start of a season, uh, where you're going to be very cautious in about two hours of game time, you'll just be kicking open doors and jumping down elevator yeah. shafts. Mm -hmm. um, yep. yep. Well, once you kind of get a feel for the place, yep. you get to be just reckless enough uh -huh. that you stumble into crap. Yep. That perfect balance. Also, I want to go back to there being elevator shafts in Ravenloft. Yeah. Okay. Uh, they're dumb no waiters. Right All right, I guess there's what? nothing wrong. There's yeah. nothing wrong with these statues, so we might as well All right. press forward. Let's Lena go. Delina, does that mean you're opening the door and heading onward? Yeah. All right. I'll be right there uh, next the to you. The chamber beyond is quite large. I will reveal it and also describe it. I pick it. up my crossbow bolt. <laughs> All right. So this is the great entryway to Castle Ravenloft. Cobwebs right. stretch between the columns that support <laughs> the vaulted ceiling of a great dusty hall, dimly lit by sputtering torches in iron sconces. The torches cast odd shadows across the fate of faces of eight stone gargoyles squatting motionlessly on the rim of the domed ceiling. Cracked and faded ceiling frescoes are covered by a decay. Uh, there are double doors of bronze. Um, yep. To the east, they are closed. Uh, to the north, a wide staircase climbs into darkness. A lit hallway to the south uh, it shows another set of double doors, bronze, uh, and also a uh, 
it looks like there's another slightly side passageway heading off to the east. As you are kind of observing all of this, uh, a creature approaches from the stairway to the north. Hello. Uh, and I have art of this creature. <gasps> a creature. Oh, all hello. right. Uh, an elf. <laughs> Uh, would you kind of... Hello. <laughs> he's, he's got a little bit of a Hugo uh, weaving thing going yeah, on. I, yeah, I think it's very much so. Mm-hmm. Um, an elf with uh, brown skin and long black hair uh, descends this very wide staircase. He is as silent as a cat as he kind of moves down the stairs. He's wearing a gray cloak, uh, but you can see it looks like he might have some black studded leather armor uh, beneath it. There's a polished scimitar hanging from his belt, and he's carrying uh, a candelabra with several lit candles as he descends the stairs. As it is rather gloomy uh, in Castle Ravenloft, and though there are torches here, it's possible uh, that other parts of Castle Ravenloft are not as well lit. Uh, he uh, He looks down at the... Ten of you <laughs> standing in Just the, the doors, uh, doors uh, to the uh, to the ten to the great entryway. And how says, long do we have to wait for a table? <laughs> I did say hello. Greetings, welcome to Castle Ravenloft. Thank you. You are expected. I know. <laughs> we were invited. You were invited. Mm-hmm. <laughs> From somewhere, sounds like possibly to the south, uh, some music begins to play. Oh dear. I am Rahadine, Chamberlain of Castle Ravenloft. Would you like to follow me? Uh, my master is waiting. I look around. Sorry, what did you say? There yeah, was some I'm- music that started playing <laughs> and I couldn't quite hear. Um, oh wait, it's still go. It, it still go. Yeah. Eh. Is that him? Oh wow! Still yes. going. It's quite he good. Does I'm... so enjoy his pipe organ. Everybody we were... needed to find a hobby in <laughs> quarantine. I understand. <laughs> <laughs> we were actually hoping we could get a tour before we we went to see the the fella himself. We've heard the chapel is love. Well, I can't recommend wandering. Visitors find Castle Ravenloft treacherous. Well, it's not wandering if it's a tour. Do you not understand the word tour? Should we explain it? I can explain it to you if you want. Madam, I think it is best that we do not keep the master waiting. There is food if you are of the kind that enjoys that sort of thing. (laughs) Uh, uh, I, I will say, somebody uh, give me an insight check. I look at uh, all my, my buddies, like, what are we doing? 23 on insight. Holy moly, that's uh, that's better than my 18. Crit! <laughs> Whoa! Whoa. Lena to Le- Whoa. Lena, to Lena uh, and Crucible. Uh, when uh, uh, Broldish mentions uh, the uh, chapel, you definitely notice Rahadine's eyes kind of dart uh, to the double doors to the east. Hmm. Awesome. Excellent. Sure. Surely, a visit to the cha- chapel is not unwarranted. I mean, technically, I'm we afraid. were announced. We were supposed to come for brunch, and you, you're supposed to pray before a meal, according to some people. And I just feel like it's mm. the thing that we should do. I think Hala I've... would really appreciate a yes. pre- mm. pre-brunch I would... prayer. I encourage you not to mention her name around here. You are in a different ha. environment visitors and you are our guests please the guest hall is to the south ah to the east okay let's head to the east <laughs> uh you could try and uh push pass uh rahadine if you wanted i mean um, it's a big hall you don't even have to push past him you could just it's walk more, past yeah, him yeah it's more of like a i couldn't hear you over the loud arse <laughs> um music so i'm just going to the east I apologize, like he told I apologize, us to. i apologize if it was no it mixed. wasn't actually loud it wasn't actually <laughs> okay. loud. i'm this is for the sake of the the mm. roll the session pretending against this Tony. is just elevor being rude which yeah. is like yeah you know somebody uh, heard, somebody told elevor there was a bed in the chapel and <laughs> 
<laughs> so Elavor, uh, you head you head forward. Uh, Elavor, as you approach uh, Rahadin, Ra I mean, I think there's probably a few things about Rahadin that are perhaps a bit surprising to some of you. Uh, Rahadin uh, does appear to be alive. Uh, that he is, is surprising. an elf. <laughs> uh, and he is, in fact, he is uh, Elavor. You recognize him immediately as a dusk elf. Uh, he does oh. look rather elderly, and uh, elderly in dusk elf uh, years suggests that he is probably several hundred years old. Uh, and uh, Elavor, I'm just going to tell you, since you moved uh, relatively close to Rahadin, um, Anyone who uh, moves within ten feet of Rahadin, which is Elavor, uh, immediately hears the screams of thousands of people in your ears. I guess I hear that too oh. since I moved up a little. Rahadin, uh, sorry, Elavor, give me a quick uh, DC sixteen wisdom saving throw. I can do that. That is horrific. Do Crucible and I also need to do that? Wait, how, why is it not? Um, it's up to you I, how quick I, I I don't know. This is one of those things where I, I don't know. I don't mm -hmm. want to penalize Micah for moving his token to all of you or moving as a group. 26. All right. Uh, so uh, you, uh, let's see here. You take eight psychic damage on a failed saving throw, more on a successful one. Um, and, or, other, Wait, way other way around. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You would take you would wow. take eight. That is eight. brutal. You would, you would take sixteen on a on a failed half on a success half as eight, uh, and I, I imagine you might uh, recoil somewhat of that. Uh, Rahadin seems uh, a, a bit concerned that you have approached him so directly. And in fact, Rahadin, I'm going to say, is kind of kind of step back uh, toward these fences. Apologies, please. I, I insist we need to head uh, to the south. Uh, Elavor, give me a quick, uh, I don't know, some kind of intelligence check as to what is what just happened to you. Okay. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. You, pro you, you probably have advantage because uh, of uh, your fey ancestry. Uh, 21. I got a nat 20. You, you have heard tale of this effect. Uh, this is known among the fey as the Deathly Choir. Uh, Rahadin is a creature that has brought a lot of suffering into the world. He has, seems like, personally brought the end to many lives. And so he is effectively haunted by those that he has slain, that he has killed uh, in battle. And anyone who kind of gets too close to Rahadin, which in this case is about 10 feet, uh, <laughs> will be will suddenly found them find themselves beset by the screaming voices of all of those that Rahadin has killed, um, which will do some psychic damage to you. So, okay, El um, Elevor turns. Elevor experienced his... that. Crucible, Broldus, did either oh, of you experience sorry. that either? I mean,. Uh, on the map, I was that close. My idea was to follow after Elavor, but mm -hmm. not super close after Elavor, to just sort of be like, oh, no, wait, stop. That's not the direction he told us to go. <laughs> mm. <laughs> so I wasn't exactly hot on I his heels. I don't think Crucible was close enough either. And imagine that the organ music continues to play in the distance uh, to the south. Sir, you must realize it is um, not good luck for him to uh, see his bride, um, you know, in her in her gown, and oh. she she must freshen up from our travels. We've we've been, you know, most of us have been on foot. Uh, surely we can have some time uh, to recuperate. Well, I could give you a few minutes, I assume, but. I assure you, the rest of Castle Ravenloft is strictly off limits to guests. The guest hall is to the south. You are guests. That is the hall for you. The table has been laid out. But I agree, it would probably be for the best that Lady Vasilica not accompany you uh, in her current attire. And your beasts and assistant as well, he says, looking I give at a, I give a dirty Aragal. look. Hmm. Then, uh, then we shall um, make use of your uh, hospitality, and we will go to the guests' hall to freshen up. Is there a, is there an antechamber or something that we could use for that before we uh, meet the the big dude himself? I'm assured that you will be welcomed in whatever state you find yourself. Mm -hmm. Uh, you know, he's he's been around a while. Has he has he smelled 
traveling people recently. I mean, does he has he met dwarves before? <laughs> I Count love her, but Str but we need to we need to do a little cleaning up. Count Strahd von Zarovich has conquered many lands and led armies into battle. There is nothing among you that he has not smelled before. Uh, Crucible nervously eats some ball berries. <laughs> crunch, 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 crunch. Can it ruin your appetite, Crucible? <laughs> dunk, dunk, rattle, rattle, dunk rattle. as they land in his foot, or in their foot. Dunk, yeah. dunk. Rahadine There's a little more rattling on the way down, though. <laughs> Rahadine strides purposely, uh, purposefully to the south. Uh, anyone have a really good passive perception check? Or not check, but uh, passive perception. 18? Oh, oh uh, wow. 20. Uh, 20? Wow. Uh, Lena and uh, Crucible, uh, probably at least one of you notices that the gargoyles uh, on the, in the, the kind of the dome of the entryway, one of the, you catch one of them kind of shifting its weight. <laughs> Good. Yeah. Bad. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. <laughs> Man, I didn't see it. I, I guess we follow for now. Yep. Uh, yep. Elvor just says, and by the way, don't get too close because I don't know if you all know what bad juju is, but uh, old Ra Raha dude has some pretty bad juju and it's sort of a, it's a painful headache if you get too close. Hmm. Wonder if he knows the effect he has on people. Stay away from Rawhide. Got it. Yes, yeah, stay away from Rawhide. <laughs> All right, uh, Rahadin has pointed you toward the south. Rahadin himself kind of steps back uh, from the doors to the uh, to the to, to the guest hall to give you plenty of space to navigate. Uh, Rahadin is kind of blocking the hallway. Uh, leading off to the east, you can see behind him a spiral staircase that seems to both go up and down. Uh, and there is, yes, uh, as as mentioned here, large bronze doors uh, to a uh, um, uh, some kind of hall be here. Um, Again, this part of Castle Ravenloft, it's um, relatively well lit with sputtering torches. Um, oh, <laughs> I thought he was just really just pausing for effect. Me too. Yeah. It is the quarter suspense. past nine, the traditional time for Tony's dinner. Guys, guy. are we supposed to go and talk to Strahd? Well, I think I the know. fact that we came in through the front door is, uh, I yeah, I we, we might be stuck to. with it. If we would have snuck in a sideway, maybe we could have skipped it. But he did invite us to brunch. Yeah, it's but like a like, big old spiky wall. This guy, you can't go. Is season him. six Baby's gonna lonely. be really short? <laughs> <laughs> One episode exactly. Yeah. I saw this scene in Empire Strikes Back. Right, <laughs> you go and sit down with a guy. It ends badly. Although, I mean, he seems like the type of guy who's going to like a have a big wedding, total groomzilla, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. b make us come to his wedding. Mm -hmm. So, like, I think we might have a little bit of time. Yeah, I think so. Right. Hi, Tony. <laughs> so as we get a little farther to the south, is there anything beyond the, like, is this a, a wall or are there more doors down here? Uh, that is a, a, do a wall. Okay. Oh, sorry. I'll try and give you at least the edges of stuff so you Thanks. can see what is. Yeah. So any, uh, just to make sure that you've got the layout so far, because Castle, Castle Ravenloft is quite large, uh, you have basically made it into the first hallway. Uh, there is... Big stairs heading up north, double doors to the east unexplored, hallway with spiral staircase leading up and down to the east unexplored. Rahadin is kind of standing there, uh, perhaps tapping his foot uh, anxiously uh, next to a uh, suit of oil, uh, of armor, oiled and glistening. <laughs> yeah, it was a suit of oil. No, the armor is oiled. This place is so weird! <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'll do that again. I would like R to make a perception check on that armor. Yeah, okay. same. See if it's I have, maple syrup. I have history mm. with suits of armor. It appears a to fan. be a, uh, a decorative uh, ornamental suit of armor. Uh, you know, yeah, you're, so you're, was the you know, last one. And I know from metalwork. Mm. I only got a it, nine. It, it, is, uh, it is, I guess, it is being displayed ornamentally. It looks like it could be functional at some point. It does not appear to be animated. animated? A ghost <laughs> haunted. <laughs> a war construct. Full of rats. A construct. 
A gelatinous cube. Oh, no, a- it's really animated and a ghost. <laughs> We're just giving him ideas at this point. That's bad. Hey, free suit of armor. Yeah. Do you, does anyone else wonder if he's been naming things this entire time? <laughs> it's going to come back and it's going to be like mm. cauliflower, uh, <laughs> other root vegetables. Not an aberration, not a celestial, <laughs> not, not a draconic Miami origin. Vice. It's not, not, not that. a It's not a origin. game show. It's not <laughs> two goblins in a lunchbox. Um. <laughs> <laughs> No. So so Lena's going to say, yes, we will all proceed to the guest quarters directly and like kind of like like tilt like twitch her head up towards the the gargoyles. Lena, <laughs> is your neck okay? <laughs> no, these uh I mean yes, it's fine. Okay. Um uh, application of heat and stretching can really alleviate neck pain. You know what? Maybe let's thanks, not thanks. talk about. Maybe thanks, no, let's al- emergency mechanical hologram. Talk about <laughs> oh. <laughs> hey, Crucible. No. Maybe not not talking so much about necks in the yeah. vampire cast. Ixnay on the neck. Eh? Acne. O- Octa. You're not <laughs> clearly not fluent in Pig Latin, Tony. Yeah. All those years of real Latin. Really Six years of real Latin have ruined me for Pig Latin. <laughs> None of um, them were taught by a pig. Zero. <laughs> yep. No, he was um, speaking vampire Latin, which I yeah. guess now that I say it is probably just Latin. 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 <laughs> yep. <laughs> um, all right. <laughs> I guess we're going into the guest hall. Sure. No one wants to open any doors. All right. Uh, the sound will, will org- crucible organ will music. Open, throw open the double doors to the guest double hall. Double doors. Let me just ask a question. Is playing the music through Rule 20 make it hard to hear descriptions of stuff and annoying, or should I play more music? No. Uh, no. no you can play it. more? It's, it's not does, he have a, does he have any other songs? He has the same quests. Song. <laughs> All right. Uh, the sound of organ music is. Know they have Bach in the yeah. <laughs> Yep, I knew someone Bach was going to call it. Yeah. So ahead of you in the in the dining hall, the guest hall, three enormous. This is one of those classic D and D descriptions where they go into lengthy detail about like what's on the tables before mentioning the other people in the room. I love it. Three enormous crystal chandeliers brilliantly illuminate this magnificent chamber. Pillars of stone stand against dull white marble walls supporting the ceiling. In the center of the room, a long, heavy table is covered with fine white satin cloth. The table is laden with many delectable foods. Roast beast basted in savory sauce, roots and herbs of every taste, sweet fruits and vegetables, food of the kind that you have not seen in all of your travels in Barovia and perhaps not even some of your travels beyond. Places are set up for each of you with fine, delicate china and silver, and each place is a crystal goblet filled with an amber liquid with a delicate tantalizing fragrance. That's right, you can smell it from the doorway. At the center of the far west wall, between floor-to-ceiling mirrors, um, stands a massive organ. Its pipes blare out a thunderous melody that speaks in its tones of greatness and despair. Seated at the organ, facing away from you, a single caped figure pounds the keys in a raptured ecstasy. The figure suddenly stops, and a deep silence falls over the dining hall as Strahd von Zarevich rises from the organ and turns to face you. Hi. <laughs> Good day. <laughs> no, you're all that's fired. Brother, that, that's Brolish's line that every Brolish time. Said. Yes. Mm. It's that's, always it's high. It's always in that voice. Um, Alina, sorry. How are we on time? Sorry if I'm stepping <laughs> on his grandeur, but you know what? Mm. Also, not sorry. <laughs> not sorry. Fine. All right, Brolish gains inspiration. <laughs> yes. Um, yes. <laughs> Because I reward that kind of horrible behavior. Um, Strad von Zarevich welcomes you to the guest hall. Hey, hey, um, just quick question. Uh, will we be dining with the Wunderhorst today? Because kind of uh, I was hoping for that. Strap on the old feedback. 
Ah, how good of you to ask, but uh, Bucephalus is elsewhere. Please, join me. Come in. You are welcome here. You are I guests, pony. and I assure you that you are under my protection in these chambers. Insight check. I did that and rolled a one, so uh, yep. that is a nine, but I Crucible strides right in. 21. Uh, Broldish, uh, you know, <laughs> Strad von Zarovich is possibly a prince of lies, uh, but he is also nobility, yep. uh, and it may be that there are certain customs uh, that he is uh, beholden to as a uh, as a noble and ruler of Barovia, and it's not impossible that he takes guest rights uh, very seriously, and that as long as you are here as guests, uh, you are, in fact, uh, safe. Uh, Lena makes sure to, like, lower Vasilika's veil. Before yeah, she comes in. Yes. Um, and also is like arm in arm with her, which I mean, Vasilika is huge, so she's probably yes. like, <laughs> but <laughs> but she's keeping a very tight grip on her. Mm -hmm. Very uh, yeah, protective. This, this is going to be challenging. I will tell you, some of the hallways at Castle Ravenloft are very narrow as you bring your a company of 10, <laughs> ten, 10 creatures and heroes uh, tromping mm -hmm. through the halls. Uh, but I believe there are ten seats uh, set up at the table for uh, for for all of you uh, and your various. Wait, companions. Strahd's not eating, or oh, <laughs> God. I gets have... a chair. <laughs> I'm sitting at the end. Please start without me. I have already eaten. <laughs> Broldish tucks in. I'll have oh, what I'm, he's having. <laughs> I'm not eating any of this food. Yeah, I'm not eat sit. and yeah. will not Are be you, eating Le this. Lena kicks uh, Broldich <laughs> under the table. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to assume it sounds like you're at least all moving in. Are you going to sit at the table even if you're not yep. prepared to eat? Um, uh, I'd like to look around the room and see, like, so clearly table laden with food. Yeah. Uh, big... Uh, Oregon, Vampire Lord, no other visible entrances or exits? <laughs> no, uh, yeah, I guess, Alina, uh, as you, uh, you know, you're used to, in fact, you may want to think about what table, or which, what chair at the table you sit in. Uh, there does not appear to be any uh, visible uh, entrances or exits to this room besides the large uh, doors that you entered through. There are also no, this is an interior, interior chamber, so there's no windows. Well, and also, like, that just makes sense in general. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like, I would do. They're not, they don't take fire safety seriously in Barovia. That makes sense. There is no fire I safety in Barovia. I mean, we've learned Barovia. that, right? Yeah. Also, it's a stone room. The only yeah. thing that's going to burn is the table. And you guys. Crucible <laughs> takes a seat at the table, looks at Strahd, and says, You have a most remarkable home. Oh, you are too kind. Uh, Crucible, it is... It's good to see you again. I wish I could say likewise, but your reputation is not always of a generous one. Oh, well, heavy is the head that wears the crown. You know how these things are. Always with the, the complaining the peasants are. They can never truly be happy. He's not actually wearing a crown, is he? Yeah, is there a crown? No. Just checking. Just no. Checking. Okay. It's, it's metaphorical. metaphorical. Yeah, metaphorical. Yeah, that's not Brildish asking, that's me. <laughs> oh, yeah. that was El Elevore wanted to see a crowd. <laughs> there was one. Uh, uh, cool. Think? So I... uh, anyway, what uh, what's uh, sort of, you know, typically at these kinds of things, there's like a little, you know, the, the joie de vivre and the, the, the person sort of tells us, I don't know what that means. Uh, the person sort of tells us kind of what we have planned for the evening. Um, and does, so I'm just wondering, is this like a one? <laughs> does Elevore go to like a lot of like mid-level marketing like things? Where try to like there's a program. On... Yes. Yeah. There's yeah. A... Uh, just kind of wondering, is this sort of like a one course meal type deal? Do we help ourselves here? Do we wait for folks to come out and serve us? Uh, just kind of just if you could give me a little bit more insight into what's going on here. Uh, stress. Uh, um, sir, 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 <laughs> that would be great. Yeah, etiquette, please. Uh, please do do not wait. P help yourselves. I I hope the food is to your liking. <laughs> okay, not as fancy as I thought he was. Does um, anyone have any buffet. like detect poison? 
Uh, Any ability no. to do that or to cleanse not, food or poison? Probably or... not prepared. Uh, yeah. we've, not we've, prepared. Got, we've got a druid and a cleric. Somebody's got to cut Ooh, something. And definitely not prepared for that. I have yeah, protection have from poison, prepared. but it is not prepared. Mm-hmm. I have purified but, food and drink. Also not prepared. But, you know, yeah. I, I think it's probably fine, to be honest. Just, I have already just started make, make eating. A, yeah, just make Argal I stopped. eat first. I stopped. I stopped when uh, okay. <laughs> when Lena kicked me for a but, moment. But, but you're not like seizing, foaming, I have thrashing, a, not more than usual. The usual amounts. <laughs> and I do have I, I do have advan- advantage on uh, saves against poison, so I'm not as worried about it as yeah. So if why you don't, why don't us, you, you wouldn't poison yeah. the food? Yeah, I don't think it's we. Not really I'm not, worried, I'm not really. worried about him killing us with the poison. <laughs> I'm worried about him doing something to influence our behavior or mm. something like that. But um, if so, um, so maybe if Broldish wants to like eat, she has her uh, and and let us know if she has to make a saving throw. Sure. <laughs> yeah, so Brildish has been like I took a quick break from eating. Lena Lena kicked her. And being Brildish, she was not entirely certain like what what was that for? Like she's looking around, are there more gargo- gargoyles? Like what's what did Lena yeah. see? Don't see anything. Lena's just staring at her, which is not unusual. So she just goes back to eating. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh it's de- it is delicious. Uh Brildish, you have probably not had uh as a good a meal as this in ever. Uh Possibly ever. Certainly, I, the last time you were perhaps in a city, it's 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 very good. I mean, you have been on the road for nine levels, uh, you know, mm. really roughing it. And this is uh, this is the best food you have had in a long time. Um, you guys, the this, one, is, the, this is so the, good. You should. This is the best food I've ever had. Good. The wine's good too. I didn't drink the wine. I'm just eating. Oh. It seems rude to eat such. Uh, rich foods while while poor Vasilica has has no mm. uh no way to eat. She's been practicing but she's still not very good at it. Oh she 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 will learn in time. It is uh we have all manner of guests and occupants here in Castle Vaven Loft and they uh we all have our own way of ways of getting getting by. It is Who else lives here? Oh well I I you know my court uh, and uh, the, the the staff and servants to to, to maintain one. I am. Uh, oh, I forgot Aragal outside. <laughs> <laughs> Cannon. Um, uh, he's out there with Samus, but Pony came in. <laughs> I, I assure you, the staff has worked quite hard on the, the meal you see before you. It is so nice to have guests. It has been quite a while since we have had uh, warm bodies here in the guest hall. Uh, How and long? I, 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 oh, s- several weeks. And I appreciate that you have uh, escorted the zero- dearest uh, Basilica here. It is enough to almost make me forget how you spirited my dearest Tatiana away from me. I guess I can never truly forget that, but uh, let us place it aside for now. You are my guest. You will enjoy your meal. I insist. Oh, uh, with a 23, do I recognize what kind of meat this is? <laughs> um, uh, yeah, it's chicken. Oh, okay. Sick. <laughs> I'm into it. <laughs> that is less exotic than I was anticipating. No, I'm very pleased by that cook? answer. Is this, is this air fried? Is it like roasted? I imagine I like succulent roasted, like mm-hmm. on a rotisserie. Spit that probably some sort of like, I don't know, skeleton was turning the rotisserie mm-hmm. for hours. <laughs> Sounds about right. I learned an important lesson in an early Dungeons & Dragons campaign that Jane was in, uh, where a villain uh, was waiting in a, in a, at a banquet hall for the heroes to arrive, uh, and the villain was an orc, and uh, the villain had a lengthy monologue prepared, which is to say that I had prepared, and Jane uh, led the group into the hall, and uh, in order to make the villain extra villainous, I made the uh, the orc. He was just chowing down on like a plate full of dwarf, and Jane just stor- stomped across the table and murdered the villain before he got to do his monologue. So yeah, yeah, yeah. This is I, was I thought of that. Dwarf at the yeah, time. I I thought of that uh, that that dinner party and how that didn't go well. This is a much more civilized uh, confrontation. Elevor, <laughs> mm-hmm. Elevor walks up to the pipe organ and starts playing bum. Bum 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 bum. Someone's got to play the, the bottom hand. Hold bum, on. Bum, 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 <laughs> I don't. Dun, 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 I don't know how. Dun, dun, dun. Does it's anything the, happen? Is Strahd the, upset about it? No, he seems amused. Does he join by you. in? This is like no. this is the call to action. <laughs> 
Just a little uh, bag, I've thrown like, down the hopping, gauntlet. hopping on one of the keys. Uh, yeah, no, Stradivarius is not going to play a duet with you. Um, Darn it. I thought, uh, I thought that we could change him. We could fix him. I, I, just, I, I, I can soothe the savage beast. I appreciate how, how you all are intermittently terrified to walk into a room and then also degrading to my nightmarish villains. <laughs> <laughs> it's Not real. Degrading. Scared we... to walk into a room, but we'll play his pipe organ. <laughs> yes. <laughs> without uh, being asked, without asking permission, uh-huh. just, you know, load uh, up that heart and soul. Yeah, you know, uh, Strad von Zarevich is, is watching you with uh, fascination, Elavor, and he, uh, he just, he, as you kind of finish playing that song... Um, uh, he, got, he made he, it real jazzy there at the end. Mm, Elvor is mm. really getting into it. <laughs> oh, Elvor, you are you are special. So rarely do I see uh, bravery and wisdom in such quantities, and never in the same vessel. Ah, uh, but it makes me wonder if you have uh, truly been tested. Perhaps here in Ravenloft, you will see things that even your optimism, your joy de vivre cannot push through. Oh, I like that. Right. Using my word against me. Mm. Okay. Hey, Strati boy, you're different than I thought you were. Game recognized game. Mm. Uh, yeah, mm. sort of just, there was a little moment there of like, hmm, okay. I mean, mm-hmm. we had to eat, we had to serve ourselves our own food, which sort of took you down a couple of points, but then I stacked them back up. I'm kind of thinking about like after this whole thing, I might start uh, sort of like a restaurateur sort of thing and uh, we'll just, you know, I mean, eat at Strahd's. I don't know. I'm sort of feeling it. There's good music. I mean, mostly because of me, but uh, also the the food from what I've heard is is okay. Um, it's but yeah, I, again, I did have a question that you never answered, which was what do we have a uh, plan for the rest of the evening? Because, I mean, we can't spend this whole time eating, right? I mean, I there's, there's other stuff you want. For, uh, well, <laughs> other than Broldish, I mean, is there well, uh, anything else you suggest we we check out here on the grounds of Strahd mm, von Zarovich mm. himself? Well, I, I thank you again for delivering uh, the dear Basilica to me. And I assure you, you know, you are safe here for your meal. And perhaps after you have filled your bellies, uh, perhaps you will be on your way. Uh, oh, or we'll certainly you... be on our way. Well, I'm not. I'm eating. <laughs> For if you were to uh, stay on our way, where? beyond that, <laughs> you would not be here as guests, but as something else. Uh, w- when we took charge of, of this young woman, um, she she became under our protection. She is not given to you as a wife as yet. Um, that she, is she not need... the understanding of the abbot that I had. Well, perhaps there was something lost in translation. Mm. We, we, we feel we have developed a great deal of fondness for her mm-hmm. over her travels. We feel very protective of her. And while she doesn't talk much, we, you know, uh, I, at least until you are wed. Surely, mm. uh, uh, surely your honor, um, mm-hmm. surely your honor recognizes that it, it would not be proper to leave a young woman. Um, in such a position, all alone with no, mm. I no assure you, you are, you are very bold, Lena Delina. But it would not be the first in Ravenloft. I, uh, you, you, you do not understand how we do things here. Uh, but uh, I understand you are out of your element, a child of Barove here within the walls of the Great Castle Ravenloft. Do you understand how how rare that is? How few come here by choice. How many of your countrymen rarely venture out of their little villages? Most of most of Valaki, they they have never been past that lake. What what is it? A mile outside of town? To them, that is the edge of the world. And you, you come here and tell me how how things will be. We're supposed to give you a wife. <laughs> She's not your wife yet, so we're not leaving. <laughs> mm. Mm. So this, uh, <laughs> we, we could return with her to um to little uh Barovia until you are ready for for the uh ceremony. But this is this is not how things will be. Um, I understand you are you are you are you are full of the spit and vinegar. You you have you have bested many of my my minions, Burldish, I hear you were the, the one that delivered the killing blow to my, my dear sweet Baba Lazaga. 
Did oh, I? I don't so remember. <laughs> You've caused a bit of trouble. All the other bitches, they are, they are plotting and scheming to see who will control Berez next. And I, I must referee among them. It is, it is such a bore. But you are somewhere else now. This is not Berez. You should give Berez to the goats. I will take a daughter. <laughs> if... What, what are we doing here, then? You are enjoying a meal under my protection, and then you will leave. And you will leave that's, the silica here. That is that's what you're it? doing. Your just... You extended your invitation to us long before we even met the silica. Long so... before you took my dearest Tatiana away from me forever, as well. We didn't take. We her never away. met anybody that... named Tatiana. No. Yeah, no. we don't know any Tatianas. I will not speak her other name. It does not please me. I know of what you have done with that pond, and the, the. We will not speak of the details of the gazebo and the ghost. It does not please me. It's my favorite. I am, think... mystery novel. I am moving <laughs> on. <laughs> I think we have to send for the abbot. And uh, sort of get confirmation that this is truly the deal that you had in place. And until then, I don't think we can go anywhere. I think that that solves it all. You get your questions answered. We get our questions answered. Everything's as it needs to be. Also, I think this key's a little flat. Um, you might want to. I don't. I don't know who you have to sort <laughs> of ding, fix ding, this ding, pipe ding, organ, ding. but yeah, that one doesn't <laughs> quite sound right. Mm. Mm. Well, stay. Uh, you, you you may stay here. You'll be safe, and perhaps you will send your your servant to fetch whoever you need to s to fetch and and send messages. But w what do you think you're doing here? <laughs> we. I are thought keeping... we were here to attend a wedding, sir. Mm. We're sort I, of, you know, at a wedding, typically there's sort of the 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 uh, one person's side of the family or their chosen family and another person's side of their family, chosen family. We're sort of going to be there for Vasilka on her wedding day. Um, it's sort of like a thing that you do to support people. And we're sort of like friends with Vasilka. And so we're going to like, you know, hang out and Such applaud a and cry and do all that stuff that you do. Throw Such rice. a commoner point of view. Uh, you do not understand she is marrying into nobility, and it, it will be a private affair. You are not invited. I'm sorry, you're what? just, it's just going to be the two of you? That's, my, you know what that's called, right? Like, you can't get married in the castle if it's just the two of you. You have to run away somewhere. That's how it works. Rahadin will see to the details. <laughs> Does the bride not have the ability to invite people of her own choosing? Ah. Uh, uh, like Strahd nervously looks at Basilica, uh, who nods her head enthusiastically at the idea that, of course, she would want to bring all of you. Um, Strahd Manzara <laughs> seems a bit taken aback by this, uh, <laughs> because you have somehow wedding lawyered him. Into <laughs> 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 wedding lawyer. You are a generous patron from all regards, and this offering us this food, it would seem ungentlemanly to not allow your bride to be to be attended by the people that she chooses to have by her side. Yeah, that doesn't I sound grow, very noble. I grow tired of this. Me too. <laughs> Us too. We're seriously so done with this. We're ready. I'm so glad you're on the same page. And uh, he sort of gives, he sort of uh, struts past Strad von Zarevich, opens the door and yells to Rahadin, Rahadi, we're going to need more chairs for the wedding. Strahd Zandarovich uh, kind of looms over the table. It seems like he's suddenly much larger than he was before. And he says, you have 10 minutes to leave Ravenloft, after which your safety is no longer my concern. Uh, suddenly there is kind of an explosion of noise. All of the torches in the room go out. Elavor, the doorway in which you are standing, calling out to Rahadin, slams shut, and you are sealed in the guest hall in the darkness alone with Count Strahd von Zara. Don't worry, everybody, I can still see. No, 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 Lena lights up her sword. Yeah, yeah. How... fires up a light cantrip. <laughs> um, how will things play out here at brunch with Count Strahd von Zarevich? Why have our adventures been so... 
spoiling to pick a fight with the most powerful <laughs> vampire in all of Dungeons and Dragons. Why have they been I mean, so rude? It's the point. When they were terrified to cra- cross a threshold, uh, <laughs> what Statues horrors are scary. await them <laughs> here in Castle Ravenloft? Uh, is this the only room without statues that will totally spook and scare everyone out? To be continued, tune in next time on Total Party Hill. <laughs>